One of the most important questions that I get during a hernia consultation is the discussion about the use of mesh. Mesh is a material that has been used in hernia repairs for many years to try to help strengthen and improve the results from hernia surgery. Mesh is a small plastic screen that is placed under or over the muscle during a hernia surgery to provide additional strength. Over the years, hernia meshes have made a dramatic transformation into the mesh that I currently use in my practice. Many, many years ago, there were some meshes that had metal placed inside of them to provide additional strength. The majority of those meshes were used in pelvic sling surgery for women, and there were a significant amount of complications over time when that mesh eroded from around the metal, and that metal got twisted and trapped in the intestines. There's a significant amount of negative publicity about the use of mesh because of all of these complications from years past. There's plenty of websites as well as lawyers who are advertising for mesh complications. Unfortunately, those older meshes have given the mesh that we use today a bad name. Large medical studies, including tens of thousands of patients across multiple countries, showed a recurrence rate from inguinal and umbilical hernia repair without mesh at approximately 20%. 20% is a huge number. And in our practice, when we do almost 500 surgeries a year, that would be 100 of those patients coming back at the end of the year with a recurrent hernia. Fortunately, the use of mesh has decreased that recurrence rate from 20% down to almost 1% to 2%. That decreases it by tenfold. So at the end of every year, if we've done 500 surgeries, we may still have a recurrence rate of five patients, but it's significantly better than without the mesh. One of the concerns patients have about mesh is chronic pain and chronic complications after their surgery. Certainly, in years past, some of the mesh that was used was very heavy, thick plastic mesh. Over the course of months and years, that mesh became very hard and caused chronic pain in the groin. I agree, those older meshes do have a very high incidence of post-operative chronic pain. However, the mesh that myself, along with most hernia specialists, use today it's a very, very thin, lightweight mesh. That mesh doesn't cause the reaction within the body that the previous meshes did and remains soft over the years and years after hernia repair. The amount of reaction within the body for these newer lightweight meshes is dramatically less than meshes that were used in the past. By using a lightweight mesh, surgeons that specialize in hernias can reduce the amount of post-operative pain both in the short term as well as the long term. For my patients, every single surgery I do is with a lightweight mesh. Whether that's open surgery or laparoscopic surgery, we always use a lightweight mesh. One of the other terms you may hear when we discuss mesh is a tension repair versus a tension free repair. What that means is when you don't use a mesh, you have to sew the muscles back together. When you do that, you put those muscles under tension. You can imagine that over time, that tension again breaks down and the hernia recurves. A mesh repair is also called a tension-free repair, so we don't have to bring the muscles as tightly together. We put the mesh in to reinforce the muscles, and we can bring the muscles together a little bit, but not under any tension. Over time in the body, whenever we put tension on muscles or tissues, that tension tends to break those muscles and tissues down. So providing a tension-free mesh repair is always preferred. I hope that hearing some of the discussion about mesh today has helped relieve some of your concerns about mesh. Certainly I agree, many of the mesh used years ago did cause a lot of problems, but today, using the newest lightweight mesh, we can give you the best hernia care possible. As I discussed in one of the previous videos, a hernia is not just a hole in the muscle, but also often has weakness around that muscle. One analogy, is an old pair of jeans. You can imagine as a hole forms, you could put stitches in that jean to repair the hole, but the next time you wash it, the next time you sit down, that jean is gonna tear right open again because the surrounding material is also weakened. The same thing goes for a hernia. 
if we simply sew it together, an area next to the hernia is likely going to tear a month, a year, or years down the road. Using a mesh, just like you would if you were patching an old pair of jeans, will reinforce that entire area and make that stronger. The same goes for your hernia. By putting in that small screen or that small mesh, we reinforce the muscle and make it stronger for years to come.